spring trends. Ooh, let's talk about those. Specifically, I'm gonna share some trends that I think are most wearable for women over 50 and those we might need to be careful with. Hello, I'm so glad that you have come my way. We're gonna talk about spring trends. That can be a little bit tricky. <laughs> I know that people tend to have polarizing opinions when it comes to trends, but we don't wanna be polarizing. We wanna be gracious, right? So let's have some really fun and lively, but very polite and gracious conversation down in the comments below. I'd love for you to contribute down there. If we haven't met, my name is Kay and I, every week I try to meet you here on Wednesdays so that I can inspire and encourage and equip women over 50 to dress in a way that is relevant and that is current. So whether you dress like I do with a classic style aesthetic or you like to look elegant or you prefer to look very casual and natural or you like a little bit of a renegade look or you like a very feminine girly look, whatever your natural style, your preferred style, we also want to look modern and up to date. So one of the ways that we can do that is by participating in some of the trends. Now trends are completely optional, but let's understand too that there are two kinds of trends. When we use the word trends, I, I try to use the word trend mostly in this first way. A trend, uh, some trends are things that were like the fashions are moving in that direction and they're going to be a long course. It's going to take a while. Like that trend is going to be around for a while because it's like a classic piece that takes a turn or a movement in a direction, like a train that you're on and you're riding it to its destination. So especially when we talk about things like jeans, for instance, when I say that they are trending towards straighter silhouettes and cropped links, that means that's here to stay for a while. That's not going anywhere anytime soon. On the other hand, there are those trends that are really are just a flash in the pan, and I really consider those more a fad. And I don't know, if I think about it, I'll distinguish between those as we're talking through these trends that I think are very wearable for women over 50. Because you see, that's another thing we have to think about with trends is, is it wearable? Is this, does this make sense in my lifestyle? Does it make sense in my personal style aesthetic? You know, one of the things we don't want to do is wreck our own personally curated wardrobe that we have curated around our own style aesthetic just because of the trends, right? We don't have to do that. We can dress in a very a way that really reflects our personality, our lifestyle, what we like to do, what, what we like, you know, who we are, but also participate in some trends by, you know, and that will help us to look current. I find one of the things I think is so important as a woman over 50 is that if I wear too many trending things, it begins to make me look a little disjointed. It makes me look like I don't know who I am or what I'm doing or who I'm showing up as today. And we don't want that, especially when we're over 50. I think it's okay for a 20 something year old <laughs> to look a little like one person one day and a, like a different person the next day. But at our age, ladies, I think we want to look like we know what we're doing, even if we don't. <laughs> and we want to look like we've kind of decided who we are and we have some self-confidence in ourselves so that we're not just all over the place fashion wise. So that's why I think it's so important to think about some trends that are really wearable, especially for women over 50. So I know maybe you're tired of me rambling on, let's get on with this. The first trend that for this spring 2022 that I think is really wearable for us older ladies is gingham. Now gingham can make you look a little girlish, a little school girlish, but you can find gingham in all sorts of iterations these days and it is really trending. It, it trended a few years ago too, but I think it's kind of just cycled back already. And we're seeing a lot of really big gingham this year. By that I mean like really big, just big, big bold checks. And we're seeing it in unexpected places too, like in accessories and in jackets and in dresses, just all over the place. 
But I think the way that it may be most wearable for us is to remember a few things. First of all, stick with your colors, your signature colors, your neutrals. I have ordered this uh, kind of a camel colored, taupe colored gingham shirt dress from Talbot's. I'm really looking forward to getting it in because it is one of my neutrals and it looks like my style aesthetic, so I like that. But don't be afraid to play with this a little bit either. The only suggestion I have for gingham is make sure that you wear it proportionate to your body. So if you are really small and petite, then I'm not really sure that you're gonna wear, want to wear the really large gingham print. It might overwhelm you, especially if you wear a lot of it, like in a dress or something. So just think about proportions for your body size, body type. The next trend that I think is just almost like made for women over 50 is pearls because we have them, right? We have some pearls. They may not be real, <laughs> but we have some pearls in our jewelry box. So pull out those pearls. They are really trending right now. Uh, those pearl earrings, pearl necklace, pearl bracelet, all of those things. But we're also this year seeing pearls show up in other places like on tops, like sewn into tops and sweaters, maybe even shoes and handbags, things like that. So you're gonna see pearls just kind of all over the place, but I would definitely pull those pearls out, wear them, but it's also a good time to maybe buy some new pearls in the more modern iterations. Uh, we're seeing a lot of natural pearls are really trending, and just like I said, pearls in all sorts of places. Have fun with it. Now, this one definitely, I think, reflects what's going on in the world, and that is sunshine colors, woo! <laughs> colors of sunshine because we're all just craving some hope <laughs> some hope some joy some laughter and that's what sunshine colors evoke so think of you know that bright yellow bright orange peachy colors like a vibrant even like a purplish hue you know just those colors of sunshine sunrise sunset all of those beautiful, hopeful colors. And I do think women over 50 can wear them. I think we need to be careful, um, but we don't, once again, we don't wanna wreck our carefully curated wardrobe that we've curated around specific signature colors that we've chosen for ourselves. But let's say for instance, none of those colors are my signature colors. I don't really wear yellow or orange or peachy colors, but I can incorporate them in a handbag or in some sandals or even just a beach hat or a beach bag. So there's definitely ways to incorporate those great vibrant colors in our wardrobe and have some fun with it. Another trend that I think women of our age will really enjoy I'm not so sure that it's necessarily wearable. I'm gonna give you some tips on it, but I think it, we're gonna enjoy it are the suits with skirts because we kind of did that before, right? We did suits with skirts before and I loved them. I have had some tremendous little suit skirts, skirt suits, skirt suits, I guess you'd call them. But here's the trick is I do think that women over 50, we might look a little old fashioned in a skirt suit unless we do some more modern things with it. So I'm gonna put my glasses on and I wanna to read to you something that I uh, read on like a Vogue or something like that website about the skirt suits because I want us to understand what we're talking about. It says the modern version of the trend foregoes padded shoulders and double-breasted buttons for cropped jackets, most often worn open over a fitted top or bodysuit and sleek mini skirts with more of a pencil silhouette, accessorized with lug sole booties and a chain link necklace or Baroque pearls. <laughs> now, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna wear a mini skirt. And I, even though I have some lug sole booties, I'm not sure I'm gonna wear my lug sole booties with my suit skirt, my skirt suit, my skirt suit. <laughs> So what are we gonna do about this? We do wanna participate in this trend because that, it's just so feminine and fun. So I think the key here is, is simply to make sure we do add some modern touches. So yes, maybe really just make sure that you choose a modern silhouette of a skirt suit and then maybe not wear the bodysuit unless you're, hey, if you're comfortable with the bodysuit, go for it. I'll be honest, I'm not because most of them are thongs. <laughs> and I'm just not gonna do that. But if you are, you go for it. But even if you don't wear a bodysuit, just wear a close 
fitting top under that suit jacket with your skirt. And then once again, another way you can make it look more modern, I think, is to choose a skirt suit in modern colors. So maybe those sunshine colors or just the trending taupe, or of course black is always nice with maybe a trending color of t-shirt underneath the jacket. So just think about ways to keep it modern. And you might not want to wear the lug sole booties, but maybe lug sole loafers or just some modern sandals would be a good way to wear that skirt suit. Another trend that I think us older ladies are going to be really gravitating to is bold stripes. So stripes are really trending this year. I love stripes. Do you love stripes? <laughs> Especially in the spring and summer because they make me think of nautical and I love that. But um, some women are really afraid to wear stripes, especially horizontal stripes. But you know what, especially during the springtime, it is such a good time to wear stripes because you can wear them under a jacket or a blazer or a denim jacket or um, you know, a cardigan or something. So that really doesn't give you that girth, that wide girth that sometimes people are afraid of with wearing stripes, with horizontal stripes. Also though, you need to understand that some women can wear horizontal stripes. We tend to think that nobody should wear horizontal stripes, but the truth is if you have an hourglass shape and if you don't know your shape, there is a link to a blog post below to help you to find your body shape. But if you have an hourglass shape, then actually horizontal stripes are your friend. I have a, hourglass body shape. Now it doesn't mean I'm skinny. Okay. I'm not skinny. <laughs> I just have, I guess kind of a full figured, you know, hourglass shape. But what that means is I have a defined waist. And so if you have a defined waist, if your waist is smaller than your shoulders and your hips, then you can wear those horizontal stripes in a dress or in a t-shirt. And it's actually going to define your waist even more and really accentuate that beautiful waistline. So don't be afraid of those horizontal stripes. And we're seeing really big horizontal stripes this year. And we actually may even see some vertical stripes. So maybe those are more your friend. And finally, another trend that I think older women really need to check out are these looser silhouettes of pants. And they're kind of all over the place, right? Now when I'm talking about pants and jeans, really. And the reason I'm throwing this one out there is, and I may sound like a, a worn record <laughs> that I just keep repeating myself, but it is so important that we try this um, and maybe get away from our skinny jeans and our skinny pants a little bit because these fuller leg, fuller, more relaxed cut of silhouette of pants can be so flattering and so feminine. You do want to be careful, of course, about proportions. And by that, I mean, when you wear the fuller pant, then you're definitely going to want to wear something more fitted up top. Doesn't have to be that bodysuit. <laughs> Doesn't have to be like skin tight. It just needs to be more fitted, more body hugging, a little bit closer to the body up top so that you have, you keep that proportion of fitted to looser fit down below. And then of course you want to look for something that is, works for your body shape, your body proportions. If you go with a cropped length in those, maybe a wide leg pant, then you do want to maybe wear a nude heel that would elongate your leg and just make you look longer down in that, that bottom portion of your body. So there are definitely ways you can do this. And I think what it is, is we need to experiment with this some. We've, we, sometimes when we start talking about looking at a new silhouette, wearing a new silhouette, it's just scary. And it takes our eyes a while to adjust, especially to seeing ourselves in that silhouette. So I always encourage women to order several pair and to try them on in different sizes, different, you know, brands and everything. Take some selfies with your phone in your mirror. That's the best that for me, it, it's like, it's so funny. Like I look one way when I look at myself in the mirror, but then when I look at it on a picture, I can really stop and think about it and I see it very differently. And that way too, you can look at it a day or two later and it helps your eyes to adjust to seeing yourself in a new silhouette. But those fuller leg silhouettes can really be very flattering on us and very freeing. All right, now let's talk about a few trends that are things are trending that we need to be very careful about. 
The first one is those big, bold colors. So I talked about the sunshine colors, but really just big, bold color in general is really trending this year. And we're seeing big, bold, like iterations of it, big, bold prints, right? Okay, nothing wrong with that. You absolutely can wear those big, bold print, like a dress or even a pair of pants if you want to, or a jacket or a top. You could wear lots of color in your outfits. But my only encouragement to you is, like I've said before in this video, is to be careful that you don't wreck your carefully curated wardrobe. Because if we throw too many of those pieces into our wardrobe, then we find that once again, we're back to where we started. We have nothing that works together. Our wardrobe no longer works together very well. And so it's fine though, I think, to buy maybe a dress that is multicolored and vibrant because we're gonna wear that by itself anyhow, especially if you have a white blazer to wear over it or a black blazer to wear over it, then you're set. Um, so maybe one or two or three pieces is probably enough to play with that trend. Another thing that's trending this year is sequins. <laughs> I've already seen lots of sequin type skirts and sequin tops. I mean, like we're not just to wear to parties, but like to wear all the time. But you know, sometimes those things that glitter and shine do catch my eye in the store, but they tend to cost a good little penny and then we don't wear them very much. And I do think this may be one of those flashes in the pan and not a true trend. So be careful about sequins. And then my final trend that I'm not really sure about, or you at least need to be careful about, is the actual color of the year is a purple or lavender lilac kind of color. And you know what? Here's the thing, ladies. I, I think that sometimes lavender, lilac, purple is associated with old age. Now, I'm all pro-aging. I'm all for aging and for getting older. So I'm not against aging, but I just think sometimes purple reminds us of like an old, old person, right? <laughs> And so we want to be careful about that. Now, it doesn't mean you can't wear it. Maybe you already love wearing lavender, purple. Maybe that's one of your signature colors. I didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> this is where I said we can sometimes get persnickety about our trends. So the only thing is, is we want to be careful about it. And when, if you do wear some lavender, if you do wear some purple, just make sure you're picking pieces that have some modern style touches to them or they are in a modern silhouette so that you don't add to that look of kind of being antiquated with your purple. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and let me leave me some comments. What do you think about those trends? Will you be participating in any of those? And you know what, like I said, you do not have to participate in any trends at all. Won't hurt my feelings. I don't think the fashion police are gonna care. <laughs> So we don't have to do any of those, but fashion trends are meant to be fun. Give me a thumbs up if you made it through this video without throwing something at me. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. And if you, if you think you might want to come back, you know, because I'd love for you to come back. I hope you have a great week. Bye.